Hey! See, you can tell that she's been working hard because she's like, I need my coffee. I need my coffee in my life. We'll get tea, but I've already oh, had two oh, cups of coffee, tea? so we're good. Two cups of coffee and tea. What kind of tea do you drink? Oh, gray, maybe black. I don't know. Something with caffeine. Something that helps the voice. Something yeah. that helps the voice. So how you feeling, girl? You feel like you look like you slept like 30 hours, looking all perfect, skin on point. It's makeup, girl. Don't you see? I know that. An honest girl. She's like, it's makeup. Sometimes it could be filters. It's a struggle, right? Yeah, you know that red correcting shit you put under <laughs> your eyes. Come on, that on. Yes, yes. So you have been busy because you've been. Um, on the, on the road, you opened up for LMA on some shows. Uh, now you're in the MIA. Are you ready just to put your toes in the sand and chillax? Or are you just going to keep going? Yeah, I mean, who doesn't want to just put their toes in the sand and right? be for like eight hours? Um, yeah, yeah, right? <laughs> um, no, I'd love to be at the beach, but um, we got work to do. Right? Have you, have you seen the beach since you've been here? No, not this time. So, your song X, girl. Let me just tell you something. I feel like I go on an emotional journey with you because us women, it, isn't it real when we talk about relationships are complicated? <laughs> are relationships complicated or what? Oh my God. I'm like, I need therapy and you call my best friend. So what do you do besides just write about ish you go through? How do you deal with the real ish you talk about in your songs? Um, I mean, my best friend is actually going to school for therapy. <laughs> <laughs> Were you her practice? She's yeah, like, I have a lot of experience. This crazy girl here, Kendall Day. I literally can't hide anything from her. It's like really messed up. Is I will, it? I'll be, I'll talk to her and like, I'll be like, no, I don't even like him. And she's like, shut up. You're lying. You're a liar. Yes, you do. <laughs> and then we get into this whole thing about why I have a problem saying that I like somebody. It's a whole thing. Um, but yeah, I talk to her a lot. Um, I really just hang out with my girlfriends to like get me through anything. Isn't that like the best therapy, right? It really is. We watch Sex in the City and cry and eat ice cream together and do Love really it. girly stuff. And then we also have like dance parties in my living room just because... Okay, I thought I was the only crazy one. No. Okay, she's real. Kiala Day is real. What, what do you put on? Do you put on like booty music? Do you put slow music? Like what do you dance to? It depends on what happened during the day, you know? Like, sometimes we gotta be there for our girl. Okay. And we have to put on some ballads and just cry and scream at each other about mm -hmm. how we should never let another man ruin our lives again. Mm -hmm. And then we also <laughs> put on Night Like This by Kehlani and twerk our lives yeah. away. Yeah. It's good. Okay. Best of all, okay. bro. There we go. So are all those songs that you write about literally things you experience or sometimes it's something that maybe your best friend told you you're not keeping a good secret? No, they're definitely things that I've always experienced. I love the fact that you're just as messed up as me. I love it. Yes. Yeah. yeah. It's just like sometimes you feel like you're alone in this world. You're like, I can't believe I got mad that he likes six girls' pictures on Instagram. You're like, no, she, she does it too. Oh, isn't that the worst? Girl, I just had this I conversation. Hate for that reason. Oh my gosh, yes. This was legit a real situation last week. But anyways, we want to thank you for being real in your music. And um, that's just exactly, I talked to a lot of your fans, and one of the favorite things that they love is that, for example, Genesis right here in the front, she's a huge fan, and she says when she listens to all your songs, that's one of her favorite things about you, that she can actually relate to what you're going through. So she loves us. So us ladies are feeling your music. And speaking of that, um, I know you had some recent music that you just dropped this week, right? Oh yeah. yeah. Uh, you guys like it? Can yeah. I? Good. Tell me about that. Can I is about a feeling that you get when you know you shouldn't be with somebody but you really want to. I know I have a pattern, you guys. Mm. This time it wasn't an ex, okay? I promise. Um, it was just somebody that I just I really had a good time with, and I we both knew it wasn't right. wasn't good. But yeah, why is it that we are attracted to people we're not supposed to be with? Like you have nine felonies, maybe you should think twice. <laughs> I'm not talking about any of my exes, by the way. Right. right. <laughs> I think it's a question you should ask your best friend. She's studying to be a therapist, right? Well, that, yes. And I actually had this discussion with somebody, I don't know who I was talking to, but it was um, something about survival and like how mm -hmm. humans are like, like biologically coded to survive. Uh -huh, uh -huh. And there's something about being drawn to like the danger of even a person because uh -huh. society is very mental now. It's not necessarily about like whether you can survive in the wild or not. It's mm -hmm. more like mental shit, like brain stuff. Right. So um, also I'm a, I'm a fire sign. I, I'm looking at my tattoos because I have a lot of fire yeah. tattoos. Ah. Um, 
What is your sign? Very drop the fire, Aries. Aries. Okay. Okay. Yeah. I like to risk it. I like to risk, risk it. it all. So, what what are three things that maybe we would be shocked or surprised to know about you that we um, don't, that we can't Google? I'm double jointed. What? Yeah. Okay. Do you want to see it? Sure. Yes. Yes. I'll hold it to you. I'll hold it to you. Oh, it's just my shoulder. Oh, it's just your shoulder. Wow. My manager's gonna hate me that I stood that. <laughs> that was uh, great. Um, I came out when I was a baby like this, and I grew inside my mom's womb like this. Like I was a superstar. Look at you. So uh, my shoulder blade grew in between. That's why I can do that. That is Fun dope. Fun. Okay. You're definitely different. Yeah. Ain't nothing like you, girl. Ain't nothing <laughs> like you. That's for sure. <laughs> um, I love corn. Corn's my favorite food. Corn? Yeah. Is corn even a food? What? You eat it? No, me, the reason I say that is because I've been, you know, I've been trying to eat healthy though, right? I heard that you can't digest it. So I'm like, that's not even a food. I can't put that in my diet. It is a food. It's, it's a, a food. food. Okay. It is. But when you eat your corn, girl, do you eat your corn like just on the cob or do you put like the Parmesan cheese, the melted butter? I love butter? that. All yeah. that. Street okay. corn. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, street corn. Yes. I like that. I like that. So the song is definitely about, you know, what we ladies always do, making mistakes. Do you feel like you learn from you writing your own music and like from your own mistakes? Because it's literally like right there. Do you learn and you just keep doing it over and over? Well, like I said, there's a little bit of a pattern there. So yes and no. I feel like when I write things, I've kind of computed it in my brain a little more. I've digested it and I've dissected it with my best friend. <laughs> The so I'm like a little bit removed from it. Some songs are, are really emotionally connected for me where I just, I literally write them in the moment and I'm like crying and I cry every time I sing them because I'm crying, I was crying when I wrote it. Um, but for the most part, I learned from my mistakes, but I've already learned and dissected it before I've written it. And gotcha. I'm, just, I'm just like a day removed from the situation to be able to even write about it. So is there, you're always talking about relationships and what you deal with, is there something about a dude that you just can't stand that will cause you to roll those eyes further and further back into your head? There's a couple things, yeah. One, She's like, there's a, there's a few, girl. One of your in supporter can't do it. Oh! <laughs> um, also, if you're a misogynist, if you try to take away my independence from me, it's going to be a problem. Uh -huh. I like to live my own life. I want you to be my partner. And not, I don't want there to be ownership at all. It's, it's a partnership, for sure. I like that. I like that. So you're going to perform for us? Yeah. Yeah. Who's ready for Kiana Lede? Well, thank you for hanging out with Power96 and being our guest on our Power Pop-Up. I'm Evie Unleash. Whenever you come through to Miami, bring your best friends so we can have therapy sessions together. Amazing. And we'll eat corn, which I learned is a food. Can we eat corn while we do that? Girl, yeah. Oh, my God. There you go. Stage is yours. Thank you so much. Key out of the day, guys. We went from 2 a.m. calls to zero communication. Yeah, we spent too long in heaven yeah. We felt the elevation Just cause it's different and we're not the same The same things have to change I got no trouble with my pride Got trouble cutting ties I don't wanna be your ex We're way too good at being friends Can we still hang on the low girl?
want to be your best. We're way too good to be your friends. Can we still hang out on the low game? I don't want to be your, I don't want to be your. It's a thriller with our deadness. We all know we're feeling stressed. I don't care to be in love with you, to love you. Yeah.